I, Dr. Vidhu Gotagutta, Professor of Mathematics, will discuss two more important problems and interesting problems on set theory. The problem is, let Z be the set of integers and if A is equal to all such X belongs to Z such that 2 to the power x plus 2 into x square minus 5x plus 6 equals to 1 and b equals to all such x belongs to z such that minus 3 less than twice x minus 1 less than 9 then the number of subsets of a cross b is number 1 2 to the power 12 number 2 2 to the power 18 number 3 2 to the power 15 and number 4 2 to the power 10. How to solve this type of problems? First, you have to find the elements of the set A and the elements of the set B. So first, I will write the elements of the set A. What you are given? You are given Two to the power x plus two into x square minus five x plus six equals to one. We can write one is equal to two to the power zero. So this will imply x plus 2 into x square minus 5x plus 6 equals to 0. This will imply x plus 2 into x minus 2 into x minus 3 equals to 0. And this will imply x equals to minus 2, 2 and 3. So what we have got? The elements of, first we have to find the elements of the set A. So what are the values? The values of x are minus 2, 2 and 3. So the set A consists of the three elements. We can write A is equal to, we can write minus 2, then 2, then 3. So A consists of three elements. So we can write A has three elements. We can write a has three elements. Now we want to find the elements of the set of the set B. What we are given? B is the set of all such x satisfying this condition minus 3, less than twice x minus 1, less than 9, provided x must be an integer. First, we break up these two inequalities twice x minus 1 less than 9 this will imply twice x less than 10 this will imply x is less than 5 next twice x minus 1 greater than minus 3. This will imply twice x greater than minus 2. This will imply x is greater than minus 1. So what is the range of x? x is greater than minus 1 less than 5. 
that is minus 1 less than x less than 5. Look here, what is our b? Set of all such x belong to the set of integers. So, the integers between minus 1 and 5. What are the integers? The values of x will be x is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, what will be the set b? The b will consist of 5 elements. Number 1 is 0, then 1, 2, 3, 4. How many elements we have? B has 5 elements. So B has 5 elements. What do you want? The number of subsets of A cross B. So how many number of elements in A cross B? The number of elements in A cross B. So A cross B has 3 into 5 equal to 15 elements. 15 elements. Next, the number of subsets of A cross B. What is the number of subsets? The number of subsets will be number of subsets. equals to 2 to the power 15. We know that number of elements of A cross B, if in the Cartesian product, the number of elements is N, then what is the number of subsets? That is 2 to the power N. So here is the number of subsets is 2 to the power 15. So the option C is correct. So the correct answer is C. Next, another problem, I am taking another problem which is very interesting and this is important for computing purpose, this type of problem. You are given S is the set of all such real numbers where x greater or equal to 0 and 2 into mod of root x minus 3 plus root x into root x minus 6 plus 6 equals to 0, then S Number one option is, is an empty set. Number two contains exactly one element. Number three contains exactly two elements. And number four is contains exactly two elements and four elements. These are the four options. Look here. What is our S? You are given two into You are given 2 into mod of root x minus 3 plus root x into root x minus 6 then plus 6 equals to 0. You have to solve for x. So first let us take y is equal to say let y equals to root x minus 3. This is the equation number 1 you are given. This will imply root x is equal to y plus 3. So what do you get from equation number 1? Form 1 we get two into mod of y 
plus what is our root x? Root x are y plus 3 into root x minus x. This will be y minus 3 plus 6 equals to 0. Now simplify it. What do you get? This will imply 2 into mod of y plus y square minus 9 plus 6 that is y square minus 3 equals to 0. y square minus 9 plus 6 y square minus 3 equal to 0. This we can write as y square means we can write mod y whole square plus 2 into mod of y minus 3 equals to 0. Now factorize it. What do you get? This is our mod y plus 3 into mod y minus 1 equals to 0. This will imply mod y equals to minus 3 or 1. But modulus of y means always it takes a positive value. So mod y cannot be equal to minus 3 since mod y not equal to minus 3. Therefore we can write mod y equals to 1. This will imply y equals to plus minus 1. Take two cases when y equals to 1 and y equals to minus 1. So when y equals to 1 then what we get? y means root over x minus 3. So root x minus 3 equal to 1. This will imply root x equal to 4. This will imply x equals to 16. I have taken the first case. When y equals to 1, we have got x equal to 16. When y is equal to minus 1, y equals to minus 1, then root x minus 3, minus 1, this will imply root x is equal to 2, this will imply x is equal to 4. So what are the values of x? Therefore, we can write x is equal to the two values are 4 and 6. 4 and 16. Now, what is our s? s is all such x, real numbers, greater than or equal to 0 and satisfying this condition. From this given condition, I have got the values of x 4 and 16. This is always positive. So the set S consists of the elements S is equal to consists of the elements 4 and 16. So how many number of elements? 1, 2, 2 elements. So S contains S contains Exactly, it contains exactly two elements, two elements. So option exactly contains two elements. So option C is correct. C is the correct answer. Again, I will explain this problem. You are given S is the all such real numbers x such that 
this given condition. Now, whether S is an empty set or it contains one element or two elements or four elements. First, you have to find out the elements of S. Now, what you were given? First, you solve this equation. I have taken y is equal to root x minus 3. That is, root x is equal to y plus 3. Put these values in equation number 1. So, from equation number 1, what we have got? I have got 2 into mod of y plus y square minus 3 equals to 0. This you can write as mod y square plus 2 into mod of y minus 3 equals to 0. So, factorizing, that is a middle term factor, mod y plus 3 and mod y minus 1 equals to 0. From this we find mod y equal to minus 3 and 1. But modulus of a number is always positive. So, mod y cannot be equal to minus 3. That's why I have written mod y equals to 1. Therefore, y equals to plus minus 1. Now, we discuss the two cases. When y equals to 1, from this, I have found the value of x is 16. When y is equal to minus 1, we have got x equal to 4. So, what are the elements of s? The elements of s are 4 and 16. How many number of elements? The number of elements is only 2. So, we are given the 4 options out of which th that is S contains exactly 2 elements. The third option is here. So, the correct answer is C. Thank you.